Hi guys, thank you so much for being here. My name is Danish and this is the fourth tutorial and we're going to learn about relationships one-to-one -one and one-to-many and many-to-many -many relationships. So first of all, uh, before me, before diving into making uh, complex queries and learn about select, uh, insert, update, join, delete, merge, weave, sort procedures, functions, user-defined functions, and group, group by having. Uh, so we need to learn about diagrams. So first of all, what we have here, we have a one database, two schemas, and nine tables. So this is the first schema in the in the database production and the other schema at the left side sales. So production at categories is a table sales dot staff and those are tables and those all this uh, staff ID first name last name email those are columns. We have no any row right now because we haven't inserted any data right now. So what are those lines so those lines are representing our relationship type so this is our actual one-to-one relationship this is a one-to-one -one. and also this three different tables represent many to many relationship how let me explain to you so first of all let's dive into one-to-one -one relationship what is one-to-one -one relationship exactly so one-to-one -one relationship so as you can see i have an order id customer ID, order status, date, required date, ship date, stored ID, staff ID. Don't worry about columns and tables because once we dive into uh, queries, we're going to be learning about this database and you can make uh, complex queries on your own. And, you know, the more practice you make, the better you get at. So in this uh, table, product ID is unique, the primary key. So there is just one unique order ID, right? And also, on the other hand, here there is just one order ID and item ID. So those two are at the same time, uh, is just a primary key. Those are just primary key at the same time, you know. I just set this two up to primary key, order ID and item ID. Why? Because let's say order ID one and in the, in the first order ID, in the, in the first for order ID, I have three different product ID. So how can I, you know, put a number without making a duplicate? Of course, I need to create an item ID or I need to make a management relationship. So order ID can be one and item ID can be one. And that way I can have uh, uh, uniquely one just primary key, one, one or one, two and one, two, three, because I maybe, maybe I have five different product in the order in the in the one order id so that's why i set this two up to primary key and this is uh, this is called one-to-one -one relationship so let's dive into one-to-many relationship so as you can see one category id can have multiple product id right one product id uh, but can uh, you know uh, can be in just one product id so it, it belongs to just one category ID, but one category ID can have multiple product ID or zero product ID, but one product ID belongs to just one category ID. So we call this one to many relationship because one category ID can have multiple product ID and this category ID and this category ID has been associated with each other by just you know making a foreign key in the sql and i'm going to show you how to do that so this is a parent table of the category id in the different table so this is also another parent table so brand id is a primary key a brand id can have multiple product id but one product id belongs to just one brand id so we call this one to many relationship so many to many relationship it is a kind of different uh a little bit different so i'm gonna uh, i'm trying to find a way to explain this yeah let's let's put it this this way uh, so as a student can enroll in many classes and they can go to many classes and they can have many subjects and also one class can have uh many students right so we call this many-to-many -many relationship. 
but we don't want to leave it uh, alone with just two tables because of course we will face problems like what duplicate numbers so to await from this I am going to create another um, table store ID so I get the store ID from the parent table store ID this is a primary key this is two this two columns at the same time are primary key and also foreign key the store ID is a foreign key of this table so this product ID is also a foreign key of this table so this table this table product ID column in this table references to this column in the production of products so this is a one-to-one relationship one product ID so take a close look at this and please just uh, you know hear me out and <laughs> product ID can be in many many different store ID right in many warehouses like think about this way think about it this way just and one store ID can have multiple product ID right or zero maybe so we have one to many relationship also here and one to many relationship here and these two different tables uh, create a many to many relationship so that's it so that's how to create a many to many relationship so it's really powerful because that way you will not any any duplicate num you will not see any duplicate numbers and that way the database system will run perfectly and so I think that's the way of explanation I think you get the point and but you know what maybe you, this is the first time you're hearing about uh, diagrams but to understand the database and schema and relationships we need to understand this when I first time watched many many videos I didn't understand I watched many many videos and I just kept watching as uh, many videos as many videos as I can because I uh, I didn't understand so I think I hope um, you nailed it and you understand I think uh, the next tutorial we're gonna be learning about uh, inserting data how to insert data and so uh, this database uh, has been created in a site which I'm going to share this site also you can learn you can go to the site and you can learn many many practical instances and you can make many 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 practices on your own in the Microsoft SQL server so also I'm going to share this diagram with you on the on the comment below and and you can uh, go to go this diagram and you can uh, also create your own diagram I think that's it thank you so much for watching my video next tutorial I hope we can insert our data our rows in this table then we can jump to the next tutorial of course queries and it's gonna be fun and hope we can do it together and thank you so much take good care of yourself take good uh, care of yourself and have a nice day see you later